The Arts and Culture Award is given to a youth who demonstrates passion for the arts and culture. They have shown commitment to helping others understand the importance of arts in their community through acts like mentoring, fundraising, and raising awareness. Calgary is a young and happening city, and nowhere is it more apparent than in the nominees for this award. At TELUS, we are stoked to be co-presenting this award with our friends at Calgary Arts Development. And the nominees are... Ayush Ghosh is passionate about classical music and is making a difference in the community. He was declared a child prodigy at the age of six for his talent in playing the sitar, an Indian classical string instrument. Ayush believes classical music unites people and it is pure enough for listeners to have peace within. I feel that classical music has the ability to unite people and bring happiness. My family loves classical music and from a very young age I have been introduced to classical music and I've always been listening to it and, and I like the sweet sound of the sitar, the instrument that I play and from then I took interest in it. When you step out of your houses in the morning you hear birds chirping but we don't understand what they're saying but we like it because it's a great feeling and Classical music is the same thing. The more you uh, listen to it, the more you will love it. And you don't have to understand it to enjoy it. You can just feel it to enjoy it. Suffering from a stroke at birth, which resulted in limited mobility in her right hand and cerebral palsy, Zena Hall is still a talented writer. Becoming a writer was always one of her goals, especially after others said she may not walk or read, let alone write. She has been writing for four years and is currently working on her third novel. Zena Hall has proved many people wrong. Doctors told my mom and me that I would not be able to walk, talk, or write. And I improved that I am now writing a lot. I can write pages in one day. I can type a whole chapter in one day to two days. And it just surprises everyone. It makes me feel very happy that they get past the disability and see the person who I am. It takes me out of this world into the a world that I created and to be able to write the um, person in my story, it makes me a part of them and they are part of me, and it just gives me joy. Not only is Sarah McKenzie an incredible musician, but she is an encouraging and positive leader. She raises awareness to all those who surround her and is committed to helping others understand the importance of arts and culture. I spend a lot of time trying to involve myself in fine arts programming and opportunities and um, just general events around my school and around my community and around the city as much as possible. Uh, I'm really lucky to go to a fantastic school that has a really high priority for fine arts programming and an incredible music program and drama program and you know choral and visual arts and dance so I, I really try and take full advantage of that the best way for arts and culture to make an impression on people or move people is just by exposure. And if people see me taking full advantage of performing and going to see shows, then I can spark them to do the same. I think the biggest piece of advice I could give to anyone is, um, you know, don't be afraid to fail and don't be afraid to play as loud as you can and as confidently as you can, even if you miss notes or if you don't play things the way that you want to, the only way that you um, learn, and this is with anything, but particularly with the trumpet when it's so easy to learn it incorrectly, <laughs> um, it's so important to take risks and to play with confidence and yeah, be big and proud and then take criticism when criticism is given to you and learn from it. You are totally inspiring, and we can't wait to see what you create next. Congratulations! Congratulations.